SOH Radio presents AsiaCast, keeping you across the top headlines from Asia and the world. I'm Daniel Tang with AsiaCast. In this bulletin, Chinese human rights activists nominated once again for Nobel Prize. Typhoon Melor leaves trail of destruction across center of Japan. And UN meeting to debate report of Gaza war crimes. But first, here's our SOH focus on China. Chinese human rights activist Hu Jia, an outspoken activist, has once again been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize, making this the second year in a row, reports NTD TV. Hu Jia, who called for an official inquiry into the 1989 Tiananmen Square crackdown, was sentenced to three and a half years for allegedly inciting subversion of state power. Despite imprisonment, Hu's human rights work is recognized around the world, having been awarded the Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought in 2008 by the European Parliament. The prize was said to acknowledge the daily struggle for freedom of all Chinese human rights defenders. Recently, Chinese website Boshun.net reported on human trafficking in Guangdong province, carried out by the Family Planning Office, which recruits thugs and ruffians to carry out raids, as well as fine and arrest people. The report says that although the human trafficking thugs are not paid by the Family Planning Office, they take advantage of the fact that the Family Planning Department is never punished by higher authorities for criminal behaviour. According to humantrafficking.org, in China, women and children are trafficked for sexual and labor exploitation in Malaysia, Thailand, the UK, the United States, Australia, Europe, Canada, Japan, Italy, Burma, Singapore, South Africa, and Taiwan. Listen to SOH's Inside China Today for more on this. And now for the rest of today's AsiaCast. Typhoon Melor struck across the center of Japan, killing two people, injuring more than 40, and leaving a trail of damage. Strong winds and heavy rains flooded roads, uprooted trees, and tore roofs from houses. Many flights and train services were cancelled. The typhoon had made landfall on Japan's main island of Honshu shortly before dawn in Aichi Prefecture, to the southwest of Tokyo and moved across densely populated central Japan with winds gusting up to 123 miles per hour. Tens of thousands of households were left without electricity. Massive landslides and floods caused by torrential rains have battered the Himalayan states of Nepal and Bhutan, raising the death toll to 45 in mid- and western Nepal, officials say. Thousands more have been displaced by the heavy late monsoon rains, predicted to continue until the weekend. In Bhutan, what is reportedly the heaviest rainfall in 13 years, major rivers have swelled, flights have been cancelled, landslides have blocked national highways, and a major hydropower plant has been shut down. The army and police force have been helping with relief efforts, and the cabinet has decided to provide a relief package for those affected. You are listening to AsiaCast on the SOH Radio Network. In the Indian state of Maharashtra, a battle with Maoists has killed at least 17 policemen, including a top commander, when the Maoists attacked a police station in Gachiroli, say officials. Just last weekend, the rebels had killed 16 villagers in the state of Bihar. India says the Maoists pose its biggest security threat. They operate in many states and say they are fighting for the rights of the poor and landless. Thousands of people have died since the 1960s when they launched an insurgency. The United Nations will conduct a regular Security Council meeting on the Middle East after Libya demanded an urgent debate on alleged war crimes in Gaza. Arab states are saying the coming talks must tackle the Goldstone Report, which accuses both Israeli and Palestinian militants of committing war crimes in the Gaza conflict. The UN Human Rights Council delayed its debate on the findings of the report following a request from Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. Palestinian officials voiced full support for Libya's efforts to get the issue on the agenda of the Security Council. This is Daniel Tang, SOH, Brisbane. AsiaCast, keeping you across the top headlines from Asia and the world.